Hi, my name is Rina and welcome to my channel. So, I promised you last week, or I didn't promise, but I was hoping real bad that I would finish my sketchbook to this week so that I could show it to you. Uh, and I did. I finished my second ever sketchbook just in time <laughs> to film it for this week. So, I will hope you enjoy the flip through and we'll see what I've made in this one. So this is a actually a handmade, like homemade, like I made it, uh, watercolor sketchbook and it is <laughs> made basically of just paper and some Christmas wrapping on the outside and as you can see, maybe you can see, this beauty is so sad. <laughs> Uh, the book did not keep its shape. Um, uh, the whole, like, I just bought some cheap watercolor paper to do this, and it's just all the paper, even the paper that's not in the sketchbook, has bent like this way. So I've tried my best to, like, straighten it out, putting heavy books on top of it and stuff like that, but nothing works. So then I just have to deal with a bent book. But yeah, um, just let's just start. Um, I started this book on November 16th, 2017. So it's just a little over a year ago that I started this. And this was the first painting that I did in this book. Um, I think I just had gotten my Mugello Mission Gold paints and I wanted to test them out. And this is just something that I came up with that day. Um, as I said, it, this has been a year ago. A lot of ha a lot has happened since then. A lot has stayed the same since then also. So <laughs> we'll just have to see what comes up in this book. Um, this is just a test page. I see that I can't actually fit the whole thing in the frame. Let me see if I can adjust it. There we go. Now we are a little higher up. So this is just the test page. I'll have to kind of try to straighten it out. As I said, I think you've seen it better now. Like the whole book is so... Ugh. So here I was testing out. I know that this was the cheap Panduro gouache that I used to have. Um, and also some different inks that I bought around the same time to see if they were waterproof and they were a knot as you can see <laughs> uh, and also just testing out like different paints and just having fun uh, I like to do kind of these pages in my books because it takes away the pressure of like making a perfect book um, I, I'm not one of these per I'm not one of the people that has to have a perfect sketchbook because the sketchbook is for sketching. It's for trying out stuff and things. So I feel like this, like a homemade cheap sketchbook is the perfect thing to use for something like this. So this was a painting I did with, I think all just the cheap gouache here too. Like trying to use them sort of watered out for watercolor effects and also thicker for gouache effects. But what I learned with the, the very cheap gouaches that I got that time, it was that uh, they were actually very hard to work with. And I didn't realize that it was because they were cheap back then, because I was like, mm, I don't think I like gouache. Um, but it ended up being actually that the gouache was so cheap that it was basically just hard to work with. I've tried a couple of different types later and uh, yeah, I've experienced something else now. Another gouache piece with the cheap gouache tubes that I had. Um, just <laughs> doing something fun. Um, Again, another gouache piece. I think most of the pieces in this sketchbook actually is gouache. 
Uh, here I was trying to play with perspective and lighting and stuff. Um, I think it's it's a cool idea, but I don't really like this. Another testing page. Um, I think these are all the Magello Mission Gold just swatched out because I wanted to see how they looked on this paper. Um, this paper is very, very textured, so um, it's not like easy to get a very smooth color on it, but that's not a problem. And these down here, all this, is my Mugello Mission White class paints that I just wanted to test out, see the opacity, um, see what I could do with them, and those paints I have used a lot in this sketchbook. Um, this was just a very, very experimental um, painting I did with my Mugello Mission Gold uh, paints. Um, I didn't sketch, I didn't do line art or anything for this. I just went straight in with paint and just made a shape and just added the features. And I think this is really, um, to be such a um, experimental piece, I really, really like it. I've never managed to do something so uh, like in the moment after this one that I'm so happy with. I didn't even use reference, so yeah, I don't know what more to say about it, but I just I just ended up really liking it. Uh, this was me just putting down some patterns with my uh, Shinhan professional watercolors. Um, I have since then actually given those paints away. Uh, because I felt like I had enough with my Mugello Mission Gold and also uh, the Mugello Mission Gold are kind of a higher quality paint than these. These are very opaque, but they are they are very good f pigmented uh, in terms of the cost of them. So if you're thinking about buying them, um, if you're on a budget, go ahead because they are they are super pigmented. Um, this one is, is very experimental too. Um, I did the same thing. No, actually I did sketch out lines for this one. Um, but yeah, I, I just went a little crazy with what I did with it and it turned out like this. I think it just looks silly now. It's been a year since I painted this one also, I think. So, uh, you know, not everything goes according to plan. Here I was testing out the Delhi watercolor pencils. Those I got them very cheap from eBay, and also my Faber Castell um, Albrecht Dürer pencils. I had four of them before I ended up buying the sixty set earlier this uh, autumn. So yeah, here you can kind of see like here you can see me testing out if the lines of the Delhi watercolor pencils uh, were dissolved with water or not. And you can see the lines very clearly through, so they are not very uh, dissolvable, to say it like that. Then we have this piece. I did this actually for a video. It was the one color watercolor challenge. Um, I ended up using two colors though. Uh, but one of the colors is just like gold shimmers for the earrings and for a, a little bit of the headpiece. Uh, but yeah, I did this with, I think it's Burnt Sienna from Mugello Mission White. It's not perfect, but I ended up really liking it anyways. Here I was testing out the Winsor & Newton uh, designer gouache. So I just swatched them out here and had some fun with them, trying them out. And I have to say that I enjoy them, but I haven't worked with them as much as I've used the Mugello Mission White class paints, which are basically watercolor and gouache in the same uh, go. So I feel like these are a little 
harder to work with actually than the others but I think that it's only because um, I tried to put my gouache in uh, my Winston Newton designer's gouache in a palette and they are rewettable but uh, it's better to just use them out of the tube so I'm thinking about uh, I'm thinking about experimenting more with those tubes because I really want to like them as much as the Mugello Mission White, but we'll see. Um, again, I think these two were made with the Winsor Newton gouache, and I was just, uh, I think I saw some references on Pinterest or something that really inspired me to want to recreate them. So that's what these are, just studies of others' art, really. Uh, here is just a little uh, playful uh, gouache drawing again. Uh, it's also the Winsor Newton uh, gouache. Just playing around with different shapes, shadows, just trying it out. Uh, this was also actually made a while ago. I kind of took a break in the middle of this sketchbook, so uh, a lot of these pieces I've made a long while ago. This was also just a uh, experimenting page and also just like these shapes I made them just when I was doing other stuff relaxing trying to just move my hand with a brush on a page testing out opacity and stuff like that with my Majes Mugello Mission Gold uh, this was from when I had a real uh, addiction to <laughs> painting fruit and I still have that actually, but this was also a while ago. Um, these were the Mugello Mission White colors. And I just love looking at this page, even if it's not perfect. It's just so colorful and bright and I, I just love fruit for that. Because I love colorful and bright. <laughs> Here was a failed attempt at a glazing chart. So... Um, I don't really remember what paints these are. I think they are... I think they are the Mugello Mission Gold. But yeah, um, this paper really, really doesn't do glazing at all. So that's just why, <laughs> that's why it looks so crappy. Uh, this was a just a study and also I kind of made it my own uh, of uh, the artist pigs. I don't know if you can see the at here um, on Instagram. I just I had saved one of her photos in my saved pictures and I just wanted to kind of play around with see how I could make my own style of that. And uh, this was made with my Delhi watercolor pencils. Uh, I just wanted to make something really cute and cartoony, so that's what I made with that. Um, this is with my Mugello Mission White, um, and I had a lot of fun with this one. But I, I'm just like I'm just like experimenting with lighting and uh, shadows and st and just playing with colors because uh, I just need to get used to it, I guess. <laughs> So this one, okay, uh, from here on out, uh, we are on the more recent paintings uh, because I just took up this sketchbook after I finished the last one, trying to fill it as quick as I could. So this was one that I finished recently. It was something completely else underneath because I did it with watercolors first and I hated it so much. So. I wanted to do something else on top of it. It's still the kind of same composition of face, uh, but I just put on layers of the Mugello Mission White paints and it ended up being something that I think looks okay, but I'm not very happy with it. But I love the nose. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, I, just, I just really enjoyed how the lighting and shadows looks on the nose, so that's something. 
uh, here is a study that I did. Uh, I just did my usual gesture drawing stuff before and then colored it after. And another study of a fruit, just having some fun with colors again, trying to fill the pages. More studies of gesture drawings. And I really, really like this one. It turned out so beautiful, I think. And it looks... It looks almost like one of those 60s commercials. Uh, I just loved the outcome of it. Wish that I could do something with it, but it's probably gonna stay in my sketchbook. And another one of these studies. This one I used a little more time on and had a lot of fun with. This one is my favorite piece from this whole sketchbook. And I'm actually thinking about ripping it, out, ripping it out and framing it and giving it to someone special in my life. Because I just think owls are so pretty and I really, really loved this one. And um, the person that I'm giving it to is kind of uh, a person that I really think has the <laughs> human qualities of an owl because she's so... Um, wise so I'm really looking forward to giving it away see what her reaction is um, this was just a, a landscape uh, not study really just me playing around seeing what I could do really Bob Ross inspired but it is with gouache or the Winsor Newton no 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 the, the um, Mijello Mission White, same hair, Mijello Mission White, the owl was also that. Um, this was me just using my uh, body kun, body chan, as a reference and just playing around with colors. Here I was using a eye as a reference, I don't, I think it was like an ad for lenses and I really like how it turned out. Uh, <laughs> this is me. Okay, I was, lately I've been watching uh, Mr. Robot. Um, if you haven't seen that series, uh, you should really go watch it because it's so intensely interesting. <laughs> it's so... Uh, I'm just like grabbing my chair almost every episode. So I tried to... Uh, paint the main character uh, or the actor uh, Rami Malek from memory. I really had a Rami Malek binge lately because I watched the Bohemian Rhapsody movie and I just really like him as a an actor so I just uh, think he has a very distinct face so I really wanted to try to paint it from memory and it looks weird and caricature almost really, but at the same time I think it really looks like him also. Um, and just some random flowers because I felt like it. Um, this was a study of a duck that I just found a picture of on, on Pexels, I think. And here's just some experimenting with uh, just... So, hi! Editing Rina here. <laughs> uh, my audio cut out for a little part here, so uh, I'm just talking about how this page was very like experimenting with colors and stuff. And then this page, the next page that I drew, was a study of just a, a Norwegian blogger um, called Sofia Lise. And <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I talked about here, but just. Oh. Uh, I hate when stuff like this happens, but yeah, um, I finished the the sketchbook December 1st, as you see, so now it's a flip through. But I'm just really happy with being able to fill my second ever sketchbook. Um, if, you, if you've seen my video about um, my art related New Year's go uh, New Year's resolutions you know that I wanted to finish six sketchbook this year but 
that's not gonna happen. I finished these two. I plan on finishing one more before the year is over, but still, that's a far away from six. But yeah, um, I'm just happy that I'm finally able to be back at sketching at all and having fun. Uh, that's just the most important part, really. So that was it. That was the second sketchbook I filled this year. It took me over a year, a little over a year to fill, fill this, but that's okay. Especially like when you work with multiple sketchbooks at a time. I think it just takes time and you jump between them and yes, just... I think it's most important to remember to have fun and remember to just do it for the practice, not to make a perfect book every time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this flip through and I hope that I'll also see you next week and you keep filling those sketchbooks yourself if you want to and just remember to have fun with it and yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye!